Greetings, gardeners. Well, the trade winds be strong with us today. As you can see behind me, it's been coming in in waves and bands. First we get sunshine, see, a bit of sunshine coming right now, then a wave of clouds, and then a downpour, and then another wave of clouds, and then another band of sunshine. Right now, I am safely here in the one band of sunshine that's coming in this afternoon because I want to talk about pineapples today. Oh, my goodness. Um, as I've said before, I have the weird pineapple collection here, and there's many interesting things coming from that, but the one that's really had my eye has been this Florida land race that had been collected by the USDA in Miami. This pineapple is the first one I have ever seen here in Mountain View that in 12 months from planting will make the pineapple. That's special. Everything else that I've grown around here takes me usually about 18 to 24 months to get a pineapple out of it. Well, I wasn't, you know, since it was so quick, I wasn't so sure, well, the quality, you know, what's it going to be like, blah, blah. Uh, plus, looking at the thing, it produces a massive amount of offset suckers, um, which is kind of unusual. Um, most of the commercial varieties don't produce that many offsets because it takes energy away from the fruit. Anyway, lately I've been walking by this thing and it's been beautifully golden yellow. I've had two of them here. That was all I got was two slips you know, that I was able to put in. And I've harvested the one in the foreground. The one in the background there you see is yellow and ready to go. I also have a whole lot of slips and suckers here. So I'm going to take this one in. Now these do not harvest the same way um, our pineapples do. The white ones I have here will snap right off. And so I'm going to cut this. There we go. Because that is going to take with me all of the, uh, um, all the little ratoon suckers here. It's going to leave one, two, it looks like. Yeah, I, I have two basal suckers. That's going to be good, because uh, that'll allow the plant to stay here. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take this one with me too, and get the rest of these. And this looks like this one only made one single basil. Okay. So, as you can see, I've never run across a pineapple that made slips like this. Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... There's nine uh, ratoon on this one. This one here, I already harvested some of them, but there's still one, two, three, four, five left on, on this one here. We sampled this pineapple earlier today. I am overjoyed. Oh, here we are back in the kitchen. I had to seek shelter. The rain's coming. So here is the Florida land race pineapple. Um, it's a little small compared to the whites we grow. And it's definitely small compared to the yellow dole varieties out there. But, top comes off as easy as with most. The bottom does not come off as easy. This thing has to literally be cut free. It doesn't snap like our white ones do. But, we sampled one of these earlier today. And that's why I'm so excited. The flavor was remarkable. I was not anticipating very much out of this pineapple. You know, it's kind of a strange little scruffy land race looking thing. Uh, it's got more suckers than you can. I mean, look at this stuff. There, there were nine ratoon suckers on this thing. Ordinarily, most of ours will have uh, usually about three is typical. A um, couple of basal suckers, five. Sometimes maybe we get seven offsets. This thing had uh, uh, two basils, nine ratoon, and then the top. So, wow, it really wants to reproduce itself. Anyway, it's a little small for my handy-dandy pineapple cutter, so I'm going to have to do this one old-style with a knife. Ooh, looking good on the inside.
Okay. Well, looking good. Beautiful yellow pineapple. No signs of decomposition. Core is relatively small. It's not too bad. Okay, so I have my pineapple cut up here in the bowl. It's not as golden as some of the modern dole types. It's more yellow than the whites we grow here. Another thing about it that I really liked, and that is that when it gets ripe, the hide turns gold. And so this is an easy one to tell when to pick it. The whites aren't so easy. They still have to be green on the outside. Somebody left this thing behind somewhere in the breeding program. This is a good pineapple. It has, there you go, Ellen. Try one. It has a pronounced pineapple flavor. The flesh is nice and dense. It's very sweet. But it's actually low acid. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Marvelous pineapple flavor. This has a better pineapple taste, I think, than our whites do. That's really delicious. With the last piece. Let it be the bottom. Distinct there. pineapple. Yeah. Yeah, totally distinct pineapple flavor on this thing. It's, uh, it's more pineapple-y than ours, but it's not acid. This is a low acid pineapple. It really surprises me. Yeah. Want some more? No, mm. it's not cut up. We'll save it for later. I'm going to save this for dessert, okay? Because otherwise we just go right through it like we did with the first one. Yeah. That, that is really delicious. And yeah. I'm definitely going to just add this to the collection out here on the farm. We're going to start growing these uh, right next to the white ones. The only sad part is I couldn't find any flowers on this plant. Ordinarily, we get bloom on pineapple, and I was hoping to be able to create some crosses using this one, but I couldn't find a flower. We'll see what happens this next year. But... I got lots and lots of propagation, so I can grow a whole bunch more of them, and I can't wait because it's only going to take us about a year to get these things up. That's the, that was really one of the other features. This pineapple will yield much faster than the majority of them that we've been growing. So to recap, that was the Florida Landrace pineapple from the USDA Tropical Fruit Repository collection. Uh, the plant, I believe, came in here out of Miami. Um, I wasn't expecting a lot. It really wasn't. I mean, it's a stumpy looking little pineapple, but uh, it is absolutely marvelous in the flavor. It will yield within one year. It produces lots and lots of offsets, so it propagates easily. I suspect that if we were to uh, pull some of these offsets on off earlier, maybe I could get bigger fruit out of it. That may happen because I think these take some energy from the fruit. But uh, low acid, good sugar content, excellent pineapple flavor, and it turns nice and yellow when it's ready to pick. Not all pineapple are easy to tell. This one's got a color change. I'm in with that. And it doesn't appear to get any of the brown rats. The white one here is fairly susceptible to brown rot in the fruit. I think that's probably because... This one doesn't appear to flower, and that's where the brown rot starts, is infection of the flower. So, I guess there's a feature to a flowerless pineapple, huh? Aloha, hang loose, and uh, enjoy your pineapples. <laughs>